Hi, welcome to Life is Strange. This is going to be a proper playthrough rather than just the first 10 minutes of gameplay. If you already saw the intro video, uh, then skip ahead to about 5 minutes 15, but I'll put an exact link in the description. Um, that will give you a bit more detail about the notebook, although if you did see the intro, you can probably just skip ahead to video 2. Uh, check the description for time links and playlists as always, and um, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts. Okay, we're going to head into live now. Hi! Welcome to Life is Strange. Uh, I've already uploaded the intro, but where I quit, I was just super tired last night. Uh, it actually reset me more or less at the beginning, so I'm going to have to play through this again. Sorry about that. Anyway. So rather than... <laughs> Fake surprise at this. Um, I'll tell you what we already know. This is Max. Uh, she's a young lady who is having some sort of vision. Where am I? What's happening? Where are you indeed, Max? That's what we'd like to know. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? Where is here? Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So I think I said last night this is a little bit Shadowrun, and what I meant by that was the old Super Nintendo version of Shadowrun, where you start off in a morgue, uh, and the slab rolls back, and you're lying in it with a tag on your toe. No idea who you are you're there and the story kind of unfolds from there. It was one of, um, I guess, my favourite games of growing up. Anyway, we're walking up to this lighthouse. Uh, there is a map over here. This is Blackwell Academy, which is the school that you're at. Uh, it was founded in 1910. That's Skull and Crossbones. Still don't know what that is. What should we do? And I don't see the lighthouse on there anywhere, which is still annoying me. So I don't know where we are in relation, but maybe that's just what we're looking down at. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> That's why. Uh, anyway, let's get in here. Holy shit! Yes, Max. That is a surprise. I dialed down the graphics from last time, it looks a little less impressive. Maybe not. Whoa. Oh. That was so surreal. So I'm going to follow the same path of time. that I did last time. But he could be talking about photography, yeah, yeah, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Yes. I am okay. From oh, light fireful. to shadow. From color Sorry, to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you I'll go, skip Victoria. through some of this stuff. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless so faces, looking around. do you feel like uh, totally haunted have a by the eyes of those sad mothers and children? Journal. She saw humanity as torture. But first, I wanted to take a selfie like and I frankly, did last time. Shh, 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 shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm just glad the point no remains dark face. that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as I long as it's been around. Bored out of his mind. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I just, you're asking me, I kind of want to ask, because it's like I did know seems so weak, but you're asking me seems too arrogant. I did know, but I kind of forgot. 
You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process right, brought out a proper look at the faces, journal as well. Making them if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So she got into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. <laughs> That's quite cute. Uh, private school for seniors, no kids allowed, excited, didn't live in the same town. Uh, text from Blackwell, literally feel my pulse speed up. Sorry, thanks for playing. Congratulations, she thinks he screamed. Mum cried, dad laughed, they're so weird, but they're happy. What? What? Well, okay, maybe that is weird for a kid. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work at a new laptop. I think I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Uh, okay, when was that? July the 10th, August the 18th. She's leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Uh, usually people go to the high school. It's just that I haven't lived there for five years. I chose to go to the smallest back in the town I was excited about leaving. Chloe, okay. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Uh, study photograph under Mark Jefferson, hearts and flowers. Okay, she's got a crush on him. Never found a groove with her classmates. A couple of great friends here. Arcadia Bay will turn out to be the kind of treasure and adventure she's been looking for. Shit's crazy here. Uh, this is what, seven days later. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are. Super cool chances for photography, things different at Blackwell, standard kid stuff. Uh, night before the first day, haven't had written or taken pictures, started the new life. Uh, okay, Blackwell sucks. I tell myself not to wise those in madame. Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa, and how could I can't forget Victoria Chase. Rich, stylish, entitled. Wait, uh, Blackwell sucks. But it's, okay, so she just doesn't like the people. Fine, get over it, woman. Call the ambulance. <laughs> steps, lots of homework, noobs day to acclimatise, Warren, serious geek, dark and witty, comes across the kind of note, oh yeah we got a text from him right, uh, research famous photographers, ton of reading, Jefferson is super cool and super chill, he doesn't try to be too hip, says what he thinks, oh my god I want to marry him, just joking, homework tough, teachers grade hard, Victoria Chase Snob Minions, bleh. Nathan Prescott Clone, Vortex Club, well we saw a Vortex at the beginning didn't we? I don't want to slam everyone, I like Kate Marsh. Okay, she's taking some shots, when it gets trip to San Francisco, Mr Grant's way cooler than the, Ms Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. How much homework are you avoiding? October. So wait, we start in June, July, August, September, October, November, October. It's five months. Okay. It's eight pages in five months. Not very impressed, Max. <laughs> Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. Pictures, Halloween party, climb out of the cocoon. You have all the time in the world. All right, that's that. Uh, we've got some new people. There's Kate. Uh, okay, she's religious and slightly goth. She's being extra quiet. Looks like she's in zombie mode. Yeah. Uh, Maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Victoria Chase, total bitch. 
Why so mean? Okay, standard. She has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious I'm embarrassed for her. <laughs> My name is Max, and ever since I was a little kid, knew I wanted to be a photographer. <laughs> On a scholarship, even. Originally left Chloe, best friend forever. Say cheese. And Jefferson. Okay. No photos yet. One photo there. And some SMSs. Dad, happy 18th. Mom, happy 18th. Kate, uh, let's go for tea. That's on the 25th of September. And we are in Extremely October, so we haven't if talked to her else for a couple this, days. What would they and then think? Warren, 10.03. Is that today? Wait. Okay. So that's recent, very recent. All right, back to class. In hundreds onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. In your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for you to do really yes, are Stella, Max. Alyssa, yes, Taylor. Pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. She does not. Now there was a photo of her. So I wanted to take. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard Sorry to about shot, oh, what's sure that to in the be consumed by your work. Turn that down. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent. Jill, there is our first picture. Hurrah! Do we think that's Mr. Jefferson? To the right? I don't know. Blackwell Academy. You have just one now, I spoke to Kate last time. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. See what I mean? Uh, I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you was my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Computer. There was someone Looks like already somebody using was it, already right? working on this. Cool. Yeah. Is that cool? I'm not sure. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Was that kid in the hoodie there before? In fact, the two at the back. I don't remember at all. Oh. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. All right, photo nerd. God, I'm <laughs> sorry. We're about so to get cool out of stuff to see Mr. Know. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Now, I think we've got some extra stuff here, right? Um, where did it go? I feel like there was a place where the stuff that we looked at was featured. Yeah, here. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. I guess it's all the pictures we've ever seen already. Oh, okay, maybe it'll become obvious. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henry Cartier. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Hmm, okay, let's look for some photo opportunities then. Even in pictures, 
The forest around here always looks mysterious. I kind of like that the pictures look like art. There's you can never else. escape the lighthouse here. Huh. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, let's take a picture out of the window then. No? Okay. Uh, and then there was just that thing on the floor, right? And we can leave and we're past where we were before. It's very now exciting. I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. New. Nope. Ooh. Whoa. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Really? But I still dig my little instant camera. It doesn't seem to me like an HD camera like that would be 20 grand. Okay, it's rock and roll. The wide world awaits. How cute I look, Jack. So, uh, that's it for now. Um, on the left, Tales from the Borderlands. I figure if you like this sort of game, you might enjoy that too, and you can't really go back beyond part one. On the right is part two. We will see what awaits in the corridor. Uh, but that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.